Watch you guys got another quick video here for you on how to fix uh, PDF files won't open in Windows 10. Now if you've upgraded from Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 sometimes this can uh, cause an issue and also if you've installed, just installed Adobe Acrobat instead of using the uh, Microsoft Edge um, program which comes with its own built-in PDF reader and you've now installed Acrobat and it's not working then I'm going to show you some steps to take with Adobe Acrobat. Anyway let's get going. So I'm going to hit the start button here and we're going to go to settings and then what we're going to do is go to system and we're going to have a look at default apps here and uh, inside here you'll see uh, set defaults by app. So if we scan here you can now see we have Adobe uh, Acrobat Reader and you can also see the Windows uh, Edge. If you want to uh, make a Windows Edge your default browser to see if that fixes your issue that's what you can do. So you can select your browser and then go back to uh, Edge and then you should be okay uh, and see if the PDF files open up. So basically here you want to come down to where it says Edge and then set this as your default application and then try to open up a PDF file. If it opens up then there's a problem with Adobe Acrobat Reader. Second thing to try is to open up Adobe Acrobat Reader. So we're going to close this off and we're going to go into the start button here and look for Adobe Acrobat Reader. You can see it here. So I'm going to click on this now once this is open, what you want to do is come up to where it says, we just uh, quickly say no to that. What you want to do here is go edit and then preferences. Inside preferences, you'll see a big pop-up window open up. Look for security enhanced right here. And sometimes taking the tick out of enable protection at startup mode, uh, just to see if that fixes your issue, okay? If it does, then you know there's something wrong with uh, Adobe here. And this is a sandbox issue. You can see sandbox, uh, sandbox protections. Now, I wouldn't re recommend that you actually disable this permanently because it's going to protect you. Uh, but it's one, one thing to test. Just open up that file and test it. Check, test it with another different type of PDF file first. Okay, just to make sure that that file is not dodgy. Okay. So I'm going to put this back on. That's one thing that you can try. So the next thing that we can try is we're going to come down and close this off and we're going to go to the help file. So inside the help file, what you want to do is you want to come down to check for updates. Sometimes uh, the actual Adobe Reader is out of date. Some people have older versions uh, maybe on in their computer and they've rolled out and they've reinstalled it and it's an old version so come inside here don't go on the internet and start searching you can do it straight in from Acrobat Reader here and that's just basically that simple go help and then check for updates if there's an update it will come up with a download button hit that download button and that should resolve that issue okay so the next thing to look for is to repair uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader in case there's a problem. You can hit help and then you can repair the installation which is here. Click on this and you say are you sure you want to repair the current installation? We're going to say yes here and it will start to try to repair uh, your Adobe Acrobat Reader in case it's become corrupted in some way. Okay, And this is an important step to try and fix those issues. Okay, so let's take a look at a PDF itself. Now, a PDF file uh, could be corrupted. There is a reason for that. Uh, it could have been corrupted during download or it could be corrupted during the person that sent it to you. It also could have some security settings on there that the person who created the PDF has put on there to stop you viewing it and stuff like that. You need to take a look at those options. And if that is the case, you either need to re-download it if it's corrupt or ask the sender who sent it to you to remove the security settings or send you another copy of it just to make sure that it isn't a corrupted file. Okay, 
So these are the uh, reasons for that. Another thing that you can take a look at is it might be non-compatible with the reader you're trying to read it with. If it was created with a, a, a non-compatible uh, software uh, and it's now you're trying to open it in an Acrobat Reader, it might not be compatible with Adobe Acrobat Reader and it won't work, okay? So you need to either send a user-friendly version so you can open it. So your next option is to uninstall and you can do that by using the uninstaller but in control panel if I right click on the start button go control panel uninstall a program and you will see Acrobat Reader here you can uninstall this here okay now if you're having trouble uninstalling it from here you can use Revo uninstaller or something like that and it should remove all of that from the system and you can also use other tools to clean up. Now remember there's registry files inside there that need to be removed as well and you can use the Adobe Reader and Acrobat Cleanup tool. Okay so you download this and it will make all the adjustments to your registry and clean up all the files that are left behind all the remnants. Okay now there's also an issue here to resolve issues on uninstalling so if you can't uninstall you can have a look on Adobe's website there's a, uh, an Adobe support search here I will put the links in the description and you can do a good search on here and this is one for the Adobe Reader 8.0 and uh, you can see here there's some steps that you can take uh, to go through removal process it will tell you here to go through these steps and there's also some other areas which will talk about registry keys and, and stuff files that are left behind and you want to make sure that all this stuff is removed from the computer before you try to reinstall it especially if you're having issues now obviously you don't have to use this method if you're just uninstalling but if you are having an issue with it you need to completely remove it from the system by using this method and then uh, reinstalling it again okay make sure you create registry backups before you continue and a, a system restore point just in case something goes wrong and that's basically it. That's how you can fix PDF files not opening or other types of issues with Acrobat Reader uh, or PDF files. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. So I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with computers or you just want to join the, the uh, community, then head over to the forums. And if you haven't joined my Facebook fan, fan page and you use Facebook, then you can go over there and give us a little like up over there. Okay, anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.